This is the third video in the new Workbench series, where I will show you how I built all the accessories that will make it more comfortable to work on it, while at the same time making it more versatile. These are the hole fast clamps. I thought about using a cap nut and a washer with a bevel hole to allow for a better rotation and tilting, which makes them very convenient when holding pieces in all of the bench's holes, both in the front and on the bench top. I've also attached a front bench vise and made some dogs that will hold the pieces on the bench top. This bench can also make repetitive cuts. If you are interested, check out how to make them in this other video in my channel. I'll start with the hold fast clamps. I'll cut all of their pieces from a beach finger joint board which was left over from the bench top. I cut it to size with a table saw, smooth one of its sides with a jointer and trim it to its required thickness with a planer. Since the board is made of several pieces of wood, I'll try to cut whole pieces without joints. Here we can see one of the board's finger joints. It's definitely a very strong bond. I marked the positions of the holes and drilled them with a column drill. I'll use a steel rod, though a steel pipe with the same diameter in a 3mm wall could be used instead. Now I'll drill the holes for the threaded insert. Here we could also use a T-nut. Now I'll mark the outline of the pieces so that I can later cut them with a bandsaw, and I sand all their sides with a disc sander. I apply some oil and place the threaded insert in its hole. Since it's a little longer than necessary, I'll sand it down to size. I attach and send down the steel pipe and make some marks on it with a file so that the glue works better. I'll use polyurethane adhesive, but epoxy could work too. Once the adhesive is dry, I wipe off any that's left over and apply some linseed oil on the wood. I'll cut the pressure pads from another piece of beech wood. First I drill holes for the washers and the cap nut, then I cut with a band saw and finish them off with a disc sander. I countersink one of the washers in the central hole and trim the nuts a little so that they fit more loosely in the hole.
I'll cut the pressure pad covers from another piece of beech wood, and now I can put together the hole fast clamps. First, I put screws in the knobs I already built and lock them with a nut and a washer. I could also use a long handle, like the one the clamps usually come with, but I prefer knobs as they take up less space. I apply glue to fasten the pressure pad covers, put in the washers and use some grease for lubrication so that the cap nut turns more easily. I also put some polyurethane adhesive between the cap nut and the screw, tighten the screw and apply pressure between the pad and its covers. Now I'll install the vise. First, I'll screw the beech wood back jaw to the bench. I mark the positions of the holes for the vise and drill them with a column drill. I also make some holes on the bottom of the piece to screw it on the bench top. I'll use hex lag bolts. I'll also fasten three screws to the front of the piece. I've changed the design of the vise a little compared to the one in the plans, but both are just as good. Maybe later on I'll design my own homemade bench vise. Using some of the leftover beech wood from the bench top, I'll cut the front jaw parts. I'll join two pieces with glue to make it thicker. Once the glue is dry, I'll flatten all its surfaces with the jointer. I mark the position of the vise guides once more and drill holes with a column drill. By tilting the jointer fence, I'll make a bevel on all of the outer edges. I make sure everything is okay and mark the positions of the bench dog holes. Now I'll cut and glue on with contact adhesive two pieces of rubber on both jaws, which will protect the wood pieces when held by the vise.
I apply some linseed oil and screw the front jaw to the vise after ensuring it's level with the bench top. Now I'll make the dogs using this piece of steel pipe. I've also cut some pieces of beech wood and rounded off their edges to insert the steel pipe in the hole. I cut a recess on the upper part of the dog and smoothed down all its surfaces with a belt sander. I glue a piece of wood on them that will stop the dogs falling through the holes, as well as protect the work pieces to be held down on the bench. Lastly, I'm going to install this bench vise, sent to me by the company Pierre, so that I can work with metals without damaging the front vise with wooden jaws. I'll make a plywood support in order to attach it to the bench quickly. That's all for today. In a few days I'll post a new video where I'll add drawers and doors to the workbench. I'll try to cut all the parts with a cutting station built into the bench itself.